The Sims 4 is rated T for teen, and if you ask me, that is really stupid. This is a life simulator, and if you want to simulate life, you kind of have to be accurate. And the reality is, life is horrible. Life is horrible because people are horrible, and you should be able to simulate that in The Sims. Why? Because I'm sadistic and have a morbid sense of humor? Of course there are mods for murder and other unsavory acts. And I could mod my game, yes, but I'm too lazy. Plus there are people who play on console who can't mod their game. So let me show you how you could be a despicable human being in The Sims without modding your game. So as you can see, I've already made my Sim. She's so pretty, isn't she? Oh no. She's a very horny alien. Now, these traits right here are very important and you're gonna see why. Yeah. So I've built this house really quickly. Uh, I've got it to qualify as a tiny home, which isn't really necessary at all. I don't even know why I did that actually. Anyway, it's very pink, very inviting, very friendly. There's a downstairs, but you're not allowed to see that yet. Why, you may ask? So, Kara Catfish, yes, that is her name, over here needs to find a victim, so naturally, I picked Jeffrey Landgrab. Why? And because Sims are incredibly naive in nature, he has absolutely no problem following a hot stranger into her unnaturally pink house to Netflix and chill within minutes of meeting her. Well, we're bonding quite well already and everything is going perfectly, so... What was that? Nope! She looks quite angry about that, actually. We've got him right where we want him. Perfect. Uh-oh. Well, whatever we wanted to do can't wait. We gotta do it now. Now that we've seduced him, he can trust us enough to go down to the basement, where we'll lock him in his personal cell, erase his memory, and now we can remove our disguise and run tests on him. Damn, she's getting horny just thinking about it. Kara, you sick woman. I'm sure you all saw this coming. And the worst part about it is, I can live stream the entire torture process. You think Kara's messed up in the head? What about all the people watching? They're truly the psychopaths. The sad thing is, we need Jeffrey alive to do these tests, which means he's gonna have to get fed. Vegetarian food, obviously, I'm not a monster. But I never said the food had to be good. Oh, he thinks he can just go to sleep. What's the most horrible type of music? There we go. This sim is a spellcaster, and she's going to make a lot of people miserable. But first we need to find people, so let's head out. Now, with this expansion pack, there are an assortment of spells we can use to make people unhappy, to say the least. So, let's start simple and just set the bartender on fire. No drinks, no fun. And they sent a replacement almost immediately. It's okay, we improvise. Let's turn the patrons into inanimate objects. Clem. Existence. So futile. Is this too much? No! Replacement bartender, what are you doing? It doesn't feel so good now, does it? Is this too much? Now here's the real trick. We clone ourselves. Now our poor, naive clone, ready to experience the joys of life, will be blamed for everything that went down today because we are going to run away. Forever a criminal at large. This is Larry Sneed. He's heavily inspired by Far Cry 5's Joseph Seed. If you've played that game, you probably know where I'm going with this. Larry and I are gonna start a cult. Here I've made our lovely little compound where we're gonna ruin a lot of people's lives. But first, we must go recruiting. The goal is to find some people who are just happily enjoying their lives, probably just going out shopping or something so we can fill their heads with false promises and manipulative mumbo jumbo. Uh, see what? 
Oh god, it's the welcome wagon. No thanks! Now that the lovely woman's agreed to join our household, we'll steal her son and all her money. It's begun. Welcome to your new home, guys. And we'll just lock this for safety. There we go, two more people into the fold. Now that enough people are here, we can finally make this a party. Let's just get the rules of the cult squared away real quick. What? What's happening? They don't care, do they? Glad to see everybody's getting along and following the rules. Larry Sneed, you devil. Maybe sharing the love isn't so bad after all. Maybe it's bad. Listen, life in the compound might be a little unorthodox, but that doesn't mean it's bad. Everybody's having a fantastic time. Okay, maybe not everybody. I didn't ruin their lives, I swear. This is my restaurant. It's a beautiful little establishment with an environmentally friendly decor and a social atmosphere. I know what you're thinking, how could you possibly make people miserable here? And we're open for business. You see, my employees here are not very good. And there's nothing more miserable than a traumatic dining experience where you waste more money than necessary on horrible service and dangerously undercooked food. Oh dear, the line is already way too long. All right, we'll go downstairs and try to entertain the customers a little bit. And by customers, I mean me. Oh my god, her food actually arrived. Doesn't look that bad, actually. I think I'll have that. I mean, I own the place. I think I've just resorted to taking people's food at this point. And what do you know? At the end of the day, I still turned a profit. <laughs>